happy Sunday. What is up? I'm gonna see if I can get this light adjusted a little bit. Have mercy. Hold on. I'm here, I promise. Okay, maybe that's better. My light's always a little off in here, and I have a huge glare sometimes. But hey, guys, what is everybody doing? I'm going to be showing you three quick eyeshadow looks, guys. Or one simple eyeshadow look, but with three colors that any mom can do. As you guys see, I already have this eye done. And that eye not done. See? You can see. Isn't that pretty? I love that. But, okay. So, and guess what? I'm going to the gym. But look, guys. I'm going to show you something. Look, this is the shirt I had on. And I have on my gym pants. Look. But I dressed it up for you guys. Look. I threw on a cardigan just for y'all. How nice is that? Give me some thumbs up if you appreciate me not jumping in, jumping on in my gym clothes. Like, I seriously like, look, I got my gym clothes on. And then I'm like, no, I need to throw something on. So I threw this little, and I got this from Maurice's, and I got it for me when I went to Palooza. So I could have, like, a cardigan to wear over my dresses. Yeah, I know. Right? Because, you know, it's mom life, guys. And that is how it rolls. We really don't have dress clothes. So it's like yoga pants and t-shirt around here. And we got some serious overcast going. See if I do that, it's worse. Okay. So, we're going to get started. I've already primed my eyelids and I can barely see, guys. The There we go. Maybe that's better if I bring you closer so you can see. Y'all see my horrible fan up there? It is atrocious. Okay, so I've already primed this eyelid right here. And as you can see over here, like you can see it, how pretty it is. And I've already done my lashes too. You guys can see that. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. What I always do, I'm going to show you guys the colors. And I'm hoping that y'all can, my look, mom life, y'all, it just, my kids have been digging into my stuff. But I'm going to go in as a base as the cream boat right here. And I always put this all over my lid because it makes everything more blendable. And it's a really pretty color too, but I use it as a base color, guys. And this is a really simple, quick look. I probably do need to back y'all out a little bit so I can see what I'm doing. So let's back y'all out a little bit. That's better, so I can actually see what I'm doing. But that's what I do. And this is cream boat that I'm using to blend it in with. I got my little mirror right here that maybe I can see better with. Maybe not. Yeah, I can. So I'll be looking over here and maybe you guys can see too. Hold on. I'm going to see if I cannot get this glare off. My goodness, maybe that's better. Holy Moses, the glare and the overcast is awful from this window. Okay, so that's cream boat on the top of my lid right there, and I'm so not trying to flip y'all off. I am so sorry. So y'all can blooper this up for me. Okay, so I got cream boat on my eyelid. Okay, I'm going to go in with the darker shade, which this is Antiki Bar. I'm so sorry for the mess, but this is what happens, guys, when your kids get into your stuff. So, I'm going to go in to my crease with this darker. And it's like a shimmery brown. It's called Antiki Bar. So, I'm just going to do this. I'm not even going to tap off that excess. I'm going to go right in here in my crease. And just do this. Just lightly come over like this. You guys see? Our eyeshadows are highly pigmented. And they're super, super blendable. This is called Antiki Bar. I love, love this color, guys. It's such a pretty color. And this brush I'm using, I got it off of Amazon. It's a Lamora brush. Which I have some of our long light brushes, but I don't have the whole collection yet. So, I just use this. And I use this one brush basically for anything and everything on my eyes. Y'all see that? 
is Antiki Bar in the Crease. Okay, now I'm going to go in with this lighter color, which is so pretty, guys. I mean, it does not give it justice right here. This is Blush Hour. So I'm going to go in there with this, and I'm going to go over my lid with Blush Hour. It's a lighter color of pink, and I just barely, really, I just barely dust it on. Just barely. I don't even really put, and I don't apply any pressure to my brush. And I just kind of blend it. And some of that cream bow is going to come to surface too, which I love it. It gives it like a dusty rose look, and I love that color. Love the dusty rose look, guys. It is so pretty. You guys see how pretty that is? And I always go back in more, depending on the depth you want in your eyes. Like, if you want more depth, you can go in and darken your crease some. Which I'm going to go back into Antiki Bar. And then I'm going to go back into my crease right here. And I'm going to go a little bit darker, guys. And like I said, I'm holding it at the very end. And this is a look anybody can do. So, you're holding it at the very end. And then you're just lightly, I mean, you're not putting any pressure at all. You're barely just going over your eye, really. Or right there in the crease. Y'all see how pretty those colors are? It took um, us a year to formulate these eyeshadows. That's how picky like, they are about stuff. They wanted them to be perfect. Well blendable, and I'm telling you guys, this is how I learned to do eyeshadow, okay? Like before, I'm going to just go ahead and tell y'all a little tidbit. Beforehand, let me tell you how I used to do eyeshadows. Get ready, because this is bad. I used to put them on with my finger, guys. And I joined Limelight, and I started learning. So anybody can do this, guys. Anybody can. So I've just gra gradually learned along the way, you know, just little tips and tricks and all that goody stuff. So anybody can do this, guys. Anybody can. This is not something it takes a professional makeup artist to, and especially if you are using professional quality makeup. Oh my God, y'all! It makes a difference. The blendability, like you're not working with cheap stuff. So the blendability, guys, is just like amazing. So. You guys, if y'all are a um, replay watcher on this, drop me a heart because I want to know and I want to be able to interact with y'all and thank you guys for joining on. So if you are a replay watcher when you watch this, drop me a heart. If you're watching live, put a smiley face so I know. So if you guys, if some of you, you don't have a clue how to do eyeshadow and feel like you are... Like, kind of like a beginner. Drop a one down at the bottom, guys. Drop a one. Because seriously, I had to learn. I taught myself, and I'm not by no means a professional makeup artist or anything like that. But the little stuff I do know, I have taught myself. So, drop a one down below. You feel like you're a mom or a college student or somebody that just don't know what they're doing when it comes to makeup and eyeshadow. Drop a one. Okay, if you feel like that you kind of know some stuff, but you're not, you know, where you want to be at it, put a two. Now, if you feel like you're an expert and you know how to do everything makeup and blendability and all blending, all that good stuff, cut crease, put a three for me. I want to know what you guys are up to and, you know, stuff that I can do lives about that would help y'all. So, I mean, comment below and let me know. And also, if you guys share this video, let me know in the comments that you shared because I want to personal, personally thank you because that is like a huge deal to me. It may sound silly, but it is. You're helping, you know, you're helping me and my family, you know, meet our dreams. Like, seriously, you are. And I know that might sound silly to some of you guys. But seriously, when you like and share my videos, it means the absolute world to me. It's like the best support you can give me. So if you do share my video, please put down below that you've shared it so I can personally thank you. But I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to blend some more. And see, you guys, it's really simple. It's not hard at all. See how I'm just going in and blending? That's it. 
And then I kind of bring this color up a little bit to make it flow better. I'm making sure these two are even. But then I go in with the cream bow again and I highlight the brow bone. So I just come up here and I just barely dust it like that just to highlight the brow bone. Okay. I'm probably going to scoot you guys in maybe a little bit so when I go to do my lashes you guys can see a little bit better. But do you see? Do y'all see how pretty that is? That is cream bow as a base and as on the brow bone. And then blush hour on the lid and in the crease is antique bar. And I almost want to say, yeah, that's so pretty. I love it. It has to be my favorite. Now, as you see on this side, my eyelashes are already done, guys, with our One Step Perfect mascara fiber lash perfect mascara it's not just a one step mascara guys this is one step fiber lash it is fiber lashes built into it so let me tell you my little trick i do excuse me i get powder press powder and i put it on my eyelids on oh, no, my eyelids sorry eyelashes that's gonna give you more volume my eyelash curler tore up so, therefore, guys, guess who don't have an eyelash curler right now? This mama. I don't. And you want to know how it tore up? My kids got into it and peeled the rubber part off. So, that's just keeping it real for all you guys. Anyways, while I'm putting my mascara on, guys, I'm going to talk to you about mom life and how mom life has been treating me here lately. Let me tell you guys. My kids, and I'm not kidding, do not judge. Okay, this is a judgment-free zone, so do not judge me. My kids were up till 2 a.m. last night. Like, I'm not kidding. This is no joke. I about went bananas. Like, I needed a break. Like, I needed, I just felt like, you know when you're a mom and you feel like it's just all piling in on you and just, you just feel the stress and the anxiety of it. Give me a one if you have ever felt the stress and anxiety of being a mother. Give me a one. Okay, if you feel like Jean Cleaver and you've never felt it, give me a two, guys. Give me a two. I know I can't put a two. I can put a one, but not a two. Okay, that's the way I felt last night. I felt like, holy bajoli, I was going to lose my mind. Okay, do you remember yesterday when I had put on my live that I had bribed my kids so I could go live? Well, I bribed them with a coffee, and I hardly ever give them coffee. Never, ever, ever again will I do that because I suffered for that last night, guys. 2 a.m., 2 a.m., guys, 2 a.m., these kids did not crash. I thought I was literally going to go bananas, like legitimately go bananas. So, anyways, I'm going to do my perfect mascara. But, guys, what did, and, you know, school, school starts back soon. Oh, my gosh. And, like, how are we going to get them into the routine of school and stuff if they be acting so crazy like that? Like, what am I supposed to do? Oh. Uh, Lord Jesus. But it has definitely been one of those weeks, guys, where, um, yeah, I feel like I'm going to lose my marbles in the mom department. Like, you know, you have those weeks where you feel like, oh, I got my ish together. I got this going on. I'm like, oh, yeah, I'm like mom of the year over here. Like, gosh, I'm taking my kids to the park. I'm taking my kids to Chuck E. Cheese. Like, I'm sitting here. I'm, like, sitting in the floor playing with them. Like, I am, like, awesome mom of the year. And then you have those weeks, like, they probably want to sell me. My kids probably want to sell me. They probably want to put me on eBay and sell me because I have been like this. Ugh. Like, it's because I've been so off schedule and so just, like, God bless it. I love my kids. So thankful for my kids. So, let me preface all this. Like, I love my kids. I would not trade them for the world. But I promise you, sometimes I feel like they're going to drive me nuts. I'm just keeping it real for you guys. And any of you moms that can relate, put a one. Gosh, put a one. Put a heart. Throw up some hearts if you can relate. Love Jesus, y'all. But, yeah, I love my kids. They drive me absolutely nuts sometimes. So, huh, yeah. Sorry, guys. I'm trying to do this while poking my eyeball out. I do apologize.
But that is our one step Barber Lash Mascara. It's amazing, isn't it? But yeah, mom life this week has been kind of rough on me. I'm telling you. And I missed them like crazy. Like when I went to Austin, Texas, I missed them like crazy. Like I felt lost. And then when I come back, I'm like, seriously, guys. Did you want me to question myself? Do I want to go back to Texas? Uh, and, you know, they're nine and eight, right? They're, yeah, nine and eight, nine and eight. Okay, they just turned nine and eight. And, y'all, I am not even kidding you. They are testing my ever-loving patience. Like, the mouth, <coughs> excuse me, the mouth on them is, like, they're so sassy. So sassy. And I have no idea, no idea, guys, where they get their sass from. None at all. I mean, they couldn't get it from me. Not at all. But you guys, I'm serious. Like, share what is some of your mom struggles, your mom wins. Share with me. Comment below. Do you have any mom wins or mom struggles? We need to mom unite over here for real. I'm not even kidding. Like, we need to reunite with each other. So, today's Sunday. My husband's at work. The kids, um, the kid's dad gets them every other Sunday, and it's his day to get them today. And so they have went with him, and I literally thought, what a perfect way, a perfect time to come on and talk to you guys. And then I'm going to the gym. See? But don't you like how I fancied it up for you? Look, I'm seriously, like, in my gym clothes. But look, I mean, how? Like, gym professional. Jim, professional. And how amazing is that, right? Okay, so that's the look. Okay, and of course, I'm going to throw on some of our signature lip gloss, which it's got little jewel. Look at that. Who doesn't love that? What color is this? Fate. I love Fate. I don't know if I want to do Fate, though. I seriously have an addiction. Let me show you guys. And this is not even all of them. Some of them is in my purse and some of them is in my other little coffee cup in the kitchen. So, let me see what color do I want. This has been my favorite here lately. It looks orange, but truly, it does not look orange when you put it on your lips. Okay, I'm going to do Faith. I think. Faith or Peace. Faith or Peace. I'm going to do Faith. Cause you gotta have faith, faith, faith. Yeah, cause I gotta have faith here lately. That these kids are gonna grow out of the sassy stage. Look, y'all. That is it, though. I'm going to go to the gym. And I hope y'all... Have a blessed Sunday. And y'all's mom struggles is not hard this week. And y'all be praying for me that my kids tone their sassy mouth down so I can keep some sanity. But um, as always, thank you guys for joining in. Thank you for being supportive. Let me know if you shared so I can personally thank you. Heart if you're a replay watcher and a smiley face if you were live. Thank you guys. God bless and I love y'all. Bye.